Kigali International Airport IATA, KGL, ICAO, HRYR, formerly known as Gregoire Kayabanda International Airport, but sometimes referred to as Kanombi International Airport, is the primary airport serving Kigali, the capital of Rwanda. It is the main air gateway for all destinations in the country, and in addition serves as a transit airport for Goma and Bukavu in the Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo. Topic. Location The airport is located in the suburb of Kanombi, at the eastern edge of Kigali, approximately 5 km miles, by road, east of the central business district of the city of Kigali. Topic. History During the Rwandan Civil War, Kigali Airport was a major strategic point. Since Rwanda is landlocked, this represented the only easy way in and out of the country. The airport had two runways, but after the Arusha Accords, one runway was closed down after a request from the RPF. Later in April 1994, the president of Rwanda plane was shot down in the assassination of Juvenal Habayarimana and Cyprian Enteriamira. It is disputed who shot down the plane, the RPF or the FAR Rwandan Defense Forces. This event triggered a renewal of the civil war and the beginning of the Rwandan genocide. <laughs> <laughs> Passenger traffic In 2004, the airport served 135,189 passengers. In 2008, the airport served about 270,000 passengers. In May 2011, the Rwanda CAA announced that Kigali Airport will be upgraded to meet the strong demand. Works started in October 2012 and will be completed in May 2014. In 2012, data from Rwanda Civil Aviation Authority shows that passenger traffic through Kigali International Airport grew by 30% to 488,903 last year, up from 377,327 in 2011. The airport handled over 300 flights a week. The airport is designed to handle 400,000 passengers per year. According to last figures, international and domestic passenger numbers were nearly 600,000 in 2013, while flight frequencies were about 400 weekly. International and domestic passenger numbers were 710,000 in 2016. Topic: <laughs> Facilities. There are 3 terminals at Kigali. The main two-story terminal was built to replace the single-story building, now housing the VIP terminal. The main terminal can handle six small to mid-sized aircraft, but also up to a Boeing 747 jet. The south side of the runway has two helicopter pads with access to the main runway. Such pads are used for military helicopters. A cargo terminal is also located at the airport. The latest upgrades to tarmac and support systems were made in 2002. There is free Wi-Fi in the airport waiting area. In 2014, Kigali Airport ranked 7th best regional airport in Africa, because of its capacity to respond to disaster, through its fire department category 9, the second best according to International Aviation Organization standards. R. Wandair has its head office on the top floor of the airport main building. The airline previously had its head office in Centenary House in Kigali. The airline began moving its operations from Centenary House to the airport on Friday, 14 May 2010. The airline was scheduled to be moved in by Monday, 17 May 2010. In addition, Akagera Aviation and the Rwanda Civil Aviation Authority have their offices at the airport. <laughs> New Kigali Bugisera International Airport There are plans to replace the current airport with a new one located south of Kigali on the south side of the Nyabarongo River in Bugisera. A new airport location is needed as the existing airport does not allow for growth no room for additional runway and facilities. The new airport will have one runway, though allowing space for a second one to be added later. 
Construction was planned to begin in 2015. In September 2016, a contract between the Rwandan government and Mota Engel Engenharia e Construcao Africa, SA, a Portuguese firm, was signed. The company will construct the airport in two phases with works on the first phase now scheduled to begin in June 2017. After finishing the first phase by December 2018, Mota Engel Engenharia e Construcao Africa, SA will subsequently operate the airport for 25 years. At this point, the airport will have a capacity of 1.7 million passengers per year. A second phase that is planned to be built after that is supposed to raise the capacity of the airport to 4.5 million passengers per year. Moda Engel Engenharia e Construcao Africa, SA will cover the costs of US $418 million for the first phase and US $400 million for the second phase, leading to a total investment of US $818 million. As a compensation, the company has the right to keep the profits from operating the airport. Under the agreement, the Rwandan government won't have to contribute to the costs of construction and operation. Airlines and destinations There are three airlines based in Kigali, Akagera Aviation, a Rwandan heli company, Tempest Jet, an American airline providing charter flights, and Nexus Aero, a Saudi VIP airline. Passenger Motes 1, some of Brussels Airlines' inbound flights to Kigali are non-stop, while others stop in Bujumbura, and some outbound flights are non-stop, while others stop in Entebbe. The airline does not have traffic rights to transport passengers solely between Kigali and Entebbe or Bujumbura. 2, some of KLM's inbound flights from Amsterdam to Kigali make a stop in Kilimanjaro, and some outbound flights from Kigali to Amsterdam stop in Entebbe. However, the airline does not have traffic rights to transport passengers solely between Kigali and Kilimanjaro or Entebbe.3, Qatar Airways flights from Doha to Kigali make a stop in Entebbe. However, the airline does not have traffic rights to transport passengers solely between Entebbe and Kigali.4, this flight operates via Harare. R1 Dare has traffic rights to transport passengers between Harare and Cape Town. Point five, Turkish Airlines outbound flights from Kigali to Istanbul make a stop in Entebbe. However, the airline does not have traffic rights to transport passengers solely between Kigali and Entebbe. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cargo. Incidents and accidents The 6 April 1994 A Falcon 50 owned by and carrying then President of Rwanda Juvenile Habayarimana was shot down while approaching the airport, killing all 12 aboard including Habayarimana and then President of Burundi, Cyprian Enteriamira, who were returning from a meeting to end the Rwandan Civil War. The wreckage landed in front of the Presidential Palace. The attack was blamed on Tutsi rebels, and, as a result, within one hour of the crash in Tarahamwe militias began the Rwandan genocide. There is no consensus on who actually shot down or ordered the attack on the plane. The 1st of June 2004 an Antonov 32 owned by Sun Air 9XRSN, reportedly suffered some problems with the left main undercarriage after takeoff from Beni, Democratic Republic of the Congo. The airplane was headed for Goma, but diverted to Kigali for an emergency landing. The aircraft crashed on landing, causing the Russian pilots and Congolese passengers to sustain serious injuries. The N-32 involved in the accident had been detained in Goma mid-July 2003 because it carried a shipment of armaments destined for a Rwanda-backed militia in the Congolese Kasai region. 12 November 2009, Rwandair Flight 205, a Bombardier CRJ-100 crashed into a VIP terminal shortly after an emergency landing, out of the 10 passengers and 5 crew, one passenger died. <laughs> 